why I'm not buying Moldavite ever again. Moldavite, an innocuous dark green or blue tinged crystal formed by a meteorite impact about 15 million years ago. Beautiful, rare, and incredible for opening up the third eye to psychic senses and also psychic protection. And I will never buy one ever again. Hello, my loves. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Leo Alexandra. Welcome to the B community. On this channel, we talk about the law of attraction, spirituality, self-development, aliens. It's been a while since I mentioned K-pop, K-dramas, and so much more. <laughs> So today I wanna to talk to you guys about why Gen Z ruined Moldavite. I'm totally kidding, I love Gen Z. I love that they are ushering in this conversation about psychic and esoteric information, and all these different platforms. And I love how all of us, especially them, how we're all making spirituality more exoteric, more readily available to the mainstream, more accepted by the mainstream. This is how we bring in the new paradigm. So yes, let's talk about all these topics. Let's put them on TikTok. Let's put them everywhere. But before we get started, I do have to give a big shout out to today's sponsor, Skillshare, which you know I love as a lifelong learner. Skillshare is one of the tools that I never want to be without. If you're not familiar, Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives and anybody who's just curious like me that offers thousands of inspiring classes. I've taken classes on investing, on real estate, on cryptocurrency. And on the other side of the spectrum, I've taken interior and graphic design classes, journaling and meditation classes and challenges, audio engineering lessons. I just recently told you guys about that. I'm learning piano on there. I'm doing it all on Skillshare. So I'm currently revisiting one of my favorite original Skillshare classes that really helped me with my passion for interior design, which you might know I have um, as I decorate my new home. The class is called Style Your Space, Creative Tips and Techniques for Interior Design with Emily Henderson. She taught me so much. And this is what really helped me find the style for my apartment here and for my home in Sedona. I love that Skillshare brings on pros to help us to learn their secrets, really. I love that you can learn new skills and new hobbies that you can create a literal new career from. And I love that the annual membership is less than $10 a month. And now it gets even better. Because Skillshare is sponsoring today's video, the first 1,000 people to click the link in my description will get a 30% off an annual premium membership. Even if you've already had a free trial, you can do this so you can explore your creativity. So even if you've used that free trial that they that they gave in past videos, uh, you can still take advantage of this offer and you get a full year of unlimited learning and creative exploration. There's thousands of classes on there. There's something for everybody. Bring your energy back onto yourself by learning and exploring what interests you, what makes you, you. Thank you, Skillshare, for sponsoring today's video. So today I wanted to just give my insights on the Moldavite trend and why I'm probably never going to really buy another one again, at least for the foreseeable future. Moldavite, as I mentioned earlier, is an extremely rare crystal or a tektite. Some estimate it's worth to be more than even diamonds. And therefore real Moldavite is quite expensive. And yes, I say real Moldavite because there are people who sell fake Moldavite. There are some crystal stores, one nearby me. They will use the word Moldavite, but, but call it, you know, add another word in front of it or behind it. And it's kind of like a Moldavite derivative or it's similar to Moldavite and it'll be very, very cheap. It's not Moldavite. This tektite was formed by a meteorite impact about 15 million years ago. So some somewhere in Southern Germany, I believe. So once it's completely mined, there's not gonna be any more of it. That's why it's so rare. Moldavite is of extremely high frequency stone. Its vibration measures at a very high rate. It also has lots of ET energy. If you've ever been around it, if you've ever used it as I have, it's very extraterrestrial. The first time I came across Moldavite was, I would say three or four years ago. I don't remember when my friend Aaron Dowdy would wear one, wear a little uh, stone around his neck every single day. And he had been for many years. So Aaron told me about what Moldavite was. He taught me about this stone and its amazing transformational properties. And he told me about how wearing it really leveled up his life. I'm pretty sure he got it right around his spiritual awakening in 2012 and how um, it, it just 
catapulted him into this transformation that he he never expected and of course it wasn't just the stone it was the spiritual awakening but moldavite can enhance that experience for sure a year or so after that i got my first moldavite i got a tiny pebble because you know it's super expensive i got moldavite incense and some moldavite essential oil i still have the essential oil in my essential oil rack um, i got this from a metaphysical store on my first trip to sedona so let me talk to you guys about what happened when I got this stone. The first night that I got it is the first time I ever saw a UFO. It's not the first time I saw an alien, but it is the first time I saw a UFO. Actually, let's talk about what happened earlier that evening, even before this. This was a wild trip to Sedona. So Aaron and I were at this Airbnb and I was going through some crazy, you know, deepening of my spiritual journey. And I had gotten this Moldavite. I forgot about the Moldavite, to be honest. But I was sitting on the floor of this Airbnb and I called in angels. And though I have before felt, you know, protected when I called in angels, I felt, you know, I'm, I'm covered. I'm good. I can just call in angels and I'm good. This was the first time in my life that I called in angels, closed my eyes, and I felt the presence of four beings surrounding me. I felt them come in. My eyes were closed and I was terrified. And I remember back then I was worried because I'm like, I know these are angels. They feel like angels. They feel uh, benevolent. Why am I scared of them? Is there something wrong with me that I'm scared of benevolent beings? I remember that moment very clearly. Yeah, so I felt their energetic presence around me, these giant beings protecting me. And then later that night, we went to sleep. I woke up at five in the morning and I saw a UFO. I woke up Aaron, he saw it too. I don't know if he remembers it, but I don't know how you couldn't remember it, but it was making a, an infinity symbol. 5 a.m., this beautiful uh, sparkle of light in Sedona. Sedona has high UFO activity, high ET activity, and it was making an infinity symbol. And we watched it for at least five minutes before I fell asleep again. So yes, this crystal has really powerful spiritual properties for sure. At this time, I really was in desperate need of psychic protection. And I do believe that the Moldavite helped, but ultimately it would be up to me to step into my full power and face my own inner demons that I was going through um, that were attacking me really in my awakening process. So Moldavite did not flip my life upside down. It deepened my journey. It enhanced my psychic abilities for sure. But now as people are focusing so much more on its fully upheaval, transformative properties, it seems to be bring, bringing in chaos and disorder in the name of transformation in the lives of many that share their experiences, especially on TikTok. If you've ever seen it, it's like, oh, don't get more. I'm not going to show. I decided not to show the TikToks because and I'll, I'll explain why a little bit later on, but it's people basically saying, don't get Moldavite, don't do this to yourself and showing these horrific things that have happened in their lives. And they're still wearing it. And they're like, I'm going to keep going through this. This is a transformation. This is what's supposed to happen. You know, this, you get this stone and everything goes to hell because it's supposed to, because that's where you get spiritual learning from. I'll, I'll talk about all that, of course, but uh, why is this happening? I'll let you know why it's happening because these people y'all created an egregore. Okay. So what is an egregore? An egregore is a thought form. It's a non-physical entity that, uh, is created through the thought forms, the thoughts, the beliefs, and the energy of many people. These thought forms and egregores can become more physical than regular objects because, uh, they can have far more powerful effects on the world. Some objects are simply objects until a thought form or egregore animates them in the minds of people. So an, an egregore, the more attention, energy, and focus it receives, the stronger and more physical it becomes until it begins to kind of have a mind of its own. So when people, when we are adding our energy and attention to something, to a collective thought, we create these egregores consciously or unconsciously. And this egregore is, is able to make things happen in our, the physical world. And of course, it doesn't necessarily have to be a negative entity. You can make positive egregores. And not all the people that are talking about their experience with Moldavite are 
sharing these horrific experiences, but so many of them did that it did become this trend. So examples of egregores include Nazi Germany. I've shared this before. The mentality that Hitler uh, created that was fed into by millions of people in Germany and around the world really at that time. That egregore powered his agenda. It was like this astral creature that was kind of like if you look imagine like a godzilla kind of creature like wrecking chaos in the world until the rest of the world really started to understand what was happening and standing up against this and supporting going to war against hitler which therefore created another egregore this new egregore that was created was assisting the allies against the axis um powers right if you want to conceptualize this it was kind of like the godzilla versus kong movie where the egregore created by one side of the world with, by the access powers and then the other egregore uh created by the alliance right it's like these two literally met on the astral realm and fought it out can you imagine that i know how super esoteric and weird this sounds trust me it sounds crazy but when we expand our consciousness and when we become aware that there's more to this reality than just this physical world there's all these other things happening at the same time that's when we can use that knowledge to our benefit another um good example that i've seen noted online was that of rome um, many people treated Rome, regarded Rome as its this own living entity. And this made Rome very powerful. And when an egregore is powerful enough, is personified, right? And you can see that in Rome's egregore uh, as it became increasingly power hungry and wanted to spread and take over, which led to its fall. The Super Bowl is also an egregore. TV programming creates egregores all the time by getting us into this trance state and instilling belief systems, making us think about the same thing at the same time. TV programming is an incredible way to create an egregore. And now TikTok is amazing at creating egregores both for good and bad because of the way that information is dispersed and the way that things trend on there. So something picks up and other people start to emulate it or add on to it, feed their energy. They talk about it, they support it or they deny it. Either way, they're feeding their energy, their focus and their attention onto this new thought form, creating an egregore. So with all this hype around Moldavite, we've collectively created this new egregore that now follows the Moldavite crystal and manifests our beliefs onto it. I felt the energy of this egregore as I watch these TikToks and it gives me crazy nerves when I see somebody posting that somebody just got that they just got Moldavite because I know that their intention is for crazy things to happen in their lives, either for spiritual development or because they just want to share it on TikTok and, and have a pop in tiktok right so now i'm consciously and subconsciously we're always subconsciously gaining all this information as we are online i'm picking up this belief that if i were to adopt a moldavite crystal again and adopt because crystals come and go as they want in my life at least i'd probably experience a dramatic upheaval in my life and will a dramatic upheaval further you along your spiritual path Absolutely, of course. It forces you to confront things head on and to become better from going through these challenges to end up as who you're supposed to be on the other side. But it doesn't have to be that way. You don't have to develop yourself in this way. You don't need to learn the lessons that you came here to learn from drama and trauma and challenges. You don't necessarily need to. Um, it's actually totally up to you to learn, to choose how to learn your lessons and how to develop spiritually so for me you might know by now i've chosen the multi-dimensional path so i learn more from psychic experiences more from observation of others and taking information in i learn from my guides and my angels and the astral my astral adventures and i learn from reading because i've decided that i want to learn outside of just my five sensory experience and you can choose that too i learned from synchronicities i learned from um, spiritual experiences of others and also from my five senses so many on earth here today have unconsciously chosen because they don't think that they have another choice to learn their lessons from the five senses which could cause a lot of loss and a lot of heartache and then some of us are buying into this Moldavite egregore and we're having a spiritual acceleration come from tragedy. 
ultimately our belief system is what creates our reality. So if yours is strong enough that you do not believe all the TikTok hype around Moldavite, you can use this crystal for spiritual growth, for manifesting, for psychic protection and psychic transformation, not dramatically, but gracefully as possibly intended by this stone. Just don't watch a ton of videos on TikTok about Moldavite. That's why I decided not to share them over here because I didn't want that. It's up to you to choose what to put into your consciousness, right? So I'm curious if you've had any experiences with Moldavite. If so, what were they? Let me know in the comments below. If they're positive, negative, neutral. Um, if you've experienced psychic protection or psychic enhancement from it i'd love to know and if you like this video where i talk about you know some trends that are happening in the spiritual online world if you want me to talk about more things like that leave it in the comments below and let me know i love you thank you for spending some time with me here today and until my next video keep your vibrations way 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 up bye <laughs>